Alright guys, back from GIE. Most important part of the trip. Getting stickers. So I handed a bunch out. I got a bunch. So now I gotta get sorted through this. Here we go. We're gonna put them up here. What is it? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> on my screen there's a little icon right here that says zoom. So I thought I had a huge zoom sticker. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got the lawn for them. Jason, hashtag yard, yard guy. Come on. <laughs> hashtag do it in the lawn. This is all right, you like, I need glasses to even read this and I don't have bad eyes. I add new perspective lawn care. Man, you gotta get your your Instagram uh, tag bigger on these stickers, man. Let's see, will it fit? Nope, all right, we'll go, we'll go up here. And now, now we say we got another Jason on. All right, so uh, if you want to send me stickers, my PO box address is like on the channel about page or something. I'm realizing now it's probably been six months since I've checked, so I should go do that. But anyways, I haven't even had time to mow, so we're gonna mow. And uh, yes, Connor, every time I fill my gas can, I use stable. Where is it? Boom, here we go. Got some, a new gas can that I saw at GIE. Shout out to John Ware for telling me about it. I do a splash, I don't ever measure. Doesn't take much, so I usually put more than necessary, but I stop measuring because I always use, it's only like two gallons, maybe not even that much in here because I don't use that much fuel. All right, so here's the safety. All right, so pushes, this is the safety, it pushes on this. Yeah, there we go. And then there's there's this. Now this, oh, my brain is not working. What is this called? Vent. <laughs> That's the vent. So it'll pour faster. Let's see if I spill. I actually got gas in there, so. Oh, whoa, whoa. My bad. All right, so clearly I just spilled gas everywhere. Now, that is not a fault of this. This is a fault of me trying to keep this straight. 
and screwing it till it was straight, not screwing it till it was actually sealed because I'm paying that much attention today. Um, so yeah, overall it worked pretty well. I didn't actually use the vent. Um, so the vent on that will come in handy with the Cub Cadet when I'm filling that guy up. Because essentially you're taking that whole two gallons and dumping it in and it's going to be so much faster with that. So I'll have to do a video once, once I'm back with the Cub Cadet. So let's get to mowing. Woo, can't even see. So here's the status of the lawn. It is thick. It's been really wet lately. It's been a while since I mowed. So I'm gonna knock it down. It probably won't be too pretty. Let's see. Is this even, yeah, it's recording. Oh man. I'm so out of the loop. Let's go mulch. Oh man, look how thick that is. That is incredible. Super duper thick. Man, it's looking nice. Now my opinion on leaves, is you mulch them. It's good nutrients for the lawn. You know, we got all these people driving hipster electric vehicles, and then they're bagging and bringing the, the leaves to the landfill, but it's good for the lawn. Use less fertilizer. And uh, they did studies putting down six inches of leaves every week and mulching them in. Had no negative effect. pH is a myth. Um, so what happens is the leaves, their pH is different, but as they break down, they, they kind of neutralize to normal levels. So it doesn't negatively affect your, your lawn. Um, there's so many myths with leaves. Mulching them is great. Now if you're of the type who just doesn't like the look of the mulched up leaves, then just tell people you're doing it because you don't like the look. Don't make up reasons to justify it, okay? I do crazy stuff for the look of my lawn. I don't, I don't justify it, I just say I like it that way. So feel free, but for me, I'm just gonna mulch it in because too lazy to bag them.
All right, so I'll give you a little look. It's not too pretty, but come on. Of course, it's fire truck. Yeah. Anyways, it's speckly. You can see the leaves. I'm okay with that. I plan on mowing again in a few days. I'll be dropping it down another notch. Um, back here, I like to cut it a little bit shorter just because I have so much leaves. And it also, I've noticed because it gets less sunlight and then the trees soak up the water, it thins out over the summer. So I like to just cut it shorter in the fall so that way the leaves are less likely to smother the blades and all that stuff. Um, but it's more of a preference thing. The front, I'll try to keep it. I'll still short lower it for the end of the season compared to you know midsummer, but I'm not going to make it as low as back here. So there you go, kind of a just mowing day. Uh, the gas can I'm excited about. It was easy to use. Um, I'll be doing a comparison video with all the gas cans that I've got. Um, I'll show you why I like the one that I bought and why I bought it and all that stuff, but. For now, I just have to get the mowing done. Uh, on to the next project. I gotta paint my office. Eh. If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The lawn care planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The lawn care journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a Lawn of the Week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out, it's completely free. It's grassdaddy.net.